Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, or welcome if you're new. But um, as promised, I am going to try my hardest to have a video every single day this week. Um, the last two videos I recorded on Saturday and I had all intentions of recording these next three videos Saturday as well, but I just completely run out of steam. I just, I couldn't do it. And so I'm trying to keep my promise to get a video every day this week for you guys. Um, I do know that there will be at least one bonus video this week. It will be kind of like a, a budget type video and I'm going to um, cross post it on this channel and the other channel because I have got an entire launch of all new savings challenges that are absolutely amazing. And it is probably, I'm thinking 40 different ones. I mean, it's, I've been working my butt off, like almost literally. But anyway, so there will be a bonus video in addition to the um, junk journal videos this week. But um, in the video that posted Sunday, I think it was, we made these um, tags or journal cards or whatever you want to call them. Um, those were so cute. And then in what would be yesterday's video, which is the video for me that y'all saw today, because it's actually Monday evening, we done these double pocket um, no cut envelopes using our six by six paper. And those turned out super adorable as well. So let's just keep right on going. And I don't know. Um, let's see if we can do this one today, maybe. No, let's go. Let's do this one. Yeah, we'll do this one today. Um, so what this one is, is this is where I take um, my 8x8 eight eight, um, paper and I just fold it, basically. And so you can do this with... Um, any size i mean you can do this with a six by six and we'll probably do one with a six by six just to kind of show you so it's just a good way to use up some of those smaller pieces if you're like me i don't know why i buy all of the small paper pads because there's really not a lot that i use them for and then i find myself having to figure out stuff to do with them because i don't know what to do with them so this, you can either score it um, in half or do like I'm trying to do. I'm just going to fold it in half. And let me get a bone folder here and just burnish that down. So I scored it in half where it would open to me like a book like that. Okay, and so then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take and fold up and... I'm not measuring or anything. I'm a, it's probably about two inches or so. And I'm just going to do that. So we actually, we already have our little book. But I'm going to open it back up and fold it like this. And from the score line here to the edge, I'm just going to cut a little bit. Because I don't want all of that bulk when I go to fold it. And so it just makes it fold a little bit better. It's not something that you have to do, but it just, it does make it a little easier. Now I'm going to round my corners. Because I like the way they look when they're rounded. And so that's what I'm doing now. And I will probably go ahead and ink this up a little bit. If I can get my ink working with me. And again, uh, I say this every time I ink. And, you know, inking is a personal preference. It's something that I like to do the inking because it seems to hide some of my boo-boos. And y'all know I have lots of boo-boos. So that's why I am inking it. And, uh, I mean, like, this is Tim Holtz paper. It honestly does not have to be inked because it looks good like it is. But, like, where I've cut and stuff, there'll be, like, some little white areas from the inside of the paper. 
And so I just try to hide that. That's what I do. I thought I tore that there for a second. It sounded like I did, but I don't see it torn. So we're just going to ink this. Now, I didn't ink the inside flaps yet because I am going to cut thumb pulls in them, and I should have done that already. So what I'm going to do to make sure that my thumb pulls kind of look right, I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to cut them both at the same time and just line it up and cut it there. Oops, sorry guys. I'm making all kinds of racket. And so now I'll ink that up. And let's ink this inside little spot a little better. Okay, now that I've got that, now I'm just going to take my glue and I'm just going to glue right along this edge, the, just a thin strip of glue. I would not use double-sided tape for this because the tape doesn't completely dry and so as you're putting stuff in the pockets, it can get caught on the tape. So I would not use tape. For this and I mean honestly this is done um, we will do some embellishments on this and then I'm trying to get the pen back in the glue then we may do one with a six by six to see what we can do with it let me grab my small ephemera book and let's see what we have that we can put on here um, might need to get my big ephemera book because I think I might want to put one of my labels or something on it. Well, I'm just trying to see what I have. I got a lot of Christmas stuff in here. Some of the stuff can be used for stuff that's not Christmas, so that's what I'm looking for. Like these, we could use. Okay, let me, I may have to get my other ephemera book out. So I don't think any of this is going to work so great on it. I don't know. I have the hardest time making decisions on what I want to do. Does anybody else have problems like that? Or is that just me and my goofiness? Let me get my big ephemera book. I was trying not to have to get it out because it's so big, but I need it. All right, let's see. I need to put more ephemera in here. I have plenty of ephemera to put in here. Um, I don't think those flowers would look good. Let's see. These are some of my, my labels that's in my shop. My Etsy shop. So are these. Um, uh, let's see what this one would look like. And I will try to remember to link the video on how I created my ephemera books. So I do get questions about those quite often. Very easy to do. So I think I'm going to use that label and this stuff is too bright for it. I don't know if a flower would look good on this one or not because it's kind of mats and stuff, but let's just see what it would look like. It might look okay. All right, so we've got that, and I do have some little pieces of this like, postcard paper that we can use to put behind it. So let's ink these up. Get a little bit of ink on these. 
And let's go ahead and ink this up, whether I use it for sure or not. Or at least already have it inked. And then I was trying to see if I had my other. Yeah, I got it right here. Let me grab some of this stuff again. Let's see. Let's maybe use a piece of this instead. I'm just going to pull a piece out. I don't really care what it, which one it is. And let's rip it up. Okay, let's see. What will this look like if I do it like that? And then do that. And then do that. I think that'll look actually pretty cute. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say it looks cute whether it does or not. And we're going to ink this up a little bit as well. And I normally end up inking myself more than I ink the papers. And today's not going to be any different, guys. So, y'all know me. So, if we're going to put that there. And let's go ahead and glue this down before I change my mind. Because y'all know I will do that too. And then we'll go ahead and glue this one down. Just like that. And that was very quick. And so this is something you could also stick this into a junk journal. Um, especially if you have like, let's see, what are these? These are some kind of little cards. Let's round the corners on them. See if these will fit in there. I don't know if they're too wide. Okay, do that away. That one didn't want to cut this card, so that's fine, buddy. So yeah, see that'll fit down in there. And then... Let's put another one on the other side, just so that we'll have something in there. Okay, so let's stick that in there. And then what else do we have? We could take one of these papers. Let's just grab the one on the top, Betty Renfrew. And let's just fold this in half. We're going to make it like a little writing paper. And I'm going to grab, ugh, this is heavy. I'm going to grab a number label. Let's go with the blue one here. Actually, let's go with this one. It's right here on top and it'll match good. All right, and I'm going to ink it up a little bit. And I'm not going to put anything underneath it. I'm just going to glue it down like this. And so it looks like it's a little writing book or something. And I'm just going to tuck that, maybe. I'm just going to tuck that right in there. And do we want to put anything else in there? We can put one of these on this other side. And I'm not going to do anything to it. It looks cute just like it is. I'm going to attempt to stick it down in there. Lord have mercy. And there's that. See how cute? And that takes just a couple minutes to do something like that. So let's see what else we can do. 
Um, I'll we'll move some of this out of the way. Let's see what we have. I think I have some six by six here, don't I? Uh, let, oh, we got to do something with that. Hmm. We will do something with that, but not in this video. Here's a six by six. Let's see what it would look like doing it with a six by six. It'll just be smaller. Let's fatten some map. So let's go with that one being a map. Or do we want to do this one? Let's do this one since we already have a map. And let's see what we can do. All right, so the same thing. I'm just looking to see what I want to be my front. I think I want that my front. So I'm just going to fold it in half or attempt to. Scoring it would probably be better, but y'all know me. Then I'm going to open it and I'm just going to fold up a little bit. All right, and then I'm just going to take from that small fold there to the edge and just cut a little spot of it out like that. Now let's round these corners. Let's round this one too if it'll let me. And let's go ahead and cut our thumb pull. Let's see if this is will let me do it. Or maybe it's not too big. We've done it. And let's go ahead and ink this up. So um, you can do this with six by six. You can do it with eight by eight, twelve by twelve. Um, anything really you can do it with and it'll just you know the smaller the paper the smaller the little um, folder will be but that's perfectly fine um, but it can be really cute this would be a good way to like if you've made a journal that you've sold or you're giving away to somebody this would be a good way to include some extra bits um, out of the journal. Um, so you could, if you had leftover paper, you could make one of these and then you could tuck all kinds of the little leftover pieces of the um, journal into the little pocket. And then you could either just clip it in or you could stick it in a pocket somewhere. It would be very cute. So let's just glue these sides here. just like that and let's glue these sides here and you could leave like the inside flap you could leave it open so it would be a tuck rather than just you know a pocket um anything like that you could do so that's really cute look how cute that one is i love it all right so that has a flower on it so we might be able to put some stickers on this one Let's see what we have. I've got so many stickers and I need to include some in a giveaway because I've got to get rid of some of these. All right, let's see what we have here. Come on, open. I think I want to use one of these. Um, let's see. That would take away from that pretty rose though, wouldn't it? What about if we done, well that one you really couldn't see. Hmm. Okay, so we might not use those. Let me put those up and let's see what else I got. We got choices. We got plenty of choices. We got plenty, plenty, plenty of choices. So the thing is just making those choices. As y'all know, I'm not good at it. 
I'm better off not having much to where I don't have to have too many options because when I have too many options it just messes with me and I cannot make a decision all right let's see something like that might be cute or maybe this one okay let's maybe put one of those I'm going to leave that one out too. And that one. See, see, I'm getting myself in trouble. Rather than just stop looking at them. Just stop. Stop now. Put those up. <laughs> Gosh. I'm so bad at that. Alright. So I'm thinking one of those. But let's just look and see. We've got butterflies, and we've got stamps. Let's see what a stamp might look like. That might be pretty. If we done this of this paper, behind it and let's see let's grab a label I think labels make everything look better I don't know that may be just my craziness but I think a label makes everything look better let's get this little one So if we done that like that and we could do that right there would we want to put it now I think that might be too much what do you guys think yeah I think that would be too much I think that would be cute like that let's do that so let's ink this up And let's ink our stamp up. And we'll ink our label. And I can see I've got vinyl on my fingers from where I was cutting vinyl earlier. My goodness gracious. I was trying to weed it and that mess was getting more on me than it. Oh, it was crazy. All right, so let's glue this down. Not to my desk, but y'all knew that was going to happen because that's going to happen every video. And then we'll stick this down. Maybe. And then we'll glue this little thing down. Just like that. I think that's cute. All right, let's put these back up. So I don't lose those. And I think what would be cute in here. Uh, let me grab some. I've got these tickets. And... I think that color might look better. Let's see what we can do with these. All right. So we could take, these are so cute. Let's fold it. Because it'd be too big the other way. And then this one we can actually tear because it's perforated. We could stick that down in there. Can we tear this one? We're going to. Oh, yeah, it's perforated too. 
Okay, so there's that one. Do we want to put some of the different colored ones in there? Maybe so. Um, let me put this back in. Because I can see right now I'm going to have a mess if I don't. Alright, so let's put some of the other colored tickets in it. And so it'll give it some good contrast. I think that would be cute. I can get these back in without making a huge mess. I'm tearing the bag. Yep, I'm tearing the bag. Okay, so I'll have to change them. We'll do that later. Let's go ahead. Let's do pink, maybe. Oh, I've already tore this one. I'll get us um, another bag before I put them up. Let's see. Let's put one of these. I like the way these look. Okay. And let's see what else do we have. Um, I think I have more tickets somewhere, but rather than just that one style, let me see if I can get to them. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can get to the other tickets real quick. They're in a um, I have a thing for tickets. I have one for flowers. And I should have done all of this ahead of time, but y'all know me. Well, there's this. This will work for now. That's the same type of stuff, but I do have these. We could stick a couple of these in there. I think that would be cute. And do we want to put anything else in here? see what one of these would look like. These are like the washi. I need to start using this stuff up. I have to because I've got so much of it. All right, let's see. Let's put one of these in here. I think I like that little green one there. And we're going to stick that one right there. And then we'll stick this one back here. And I think that little folder has got more than it can hold just about. So let's put these back up and then we'll lay them out and look at them to see what we've done. Those are super cute. I can use that for something too, the backing of those stickers. And I will definitely do that. All right, guys, let me move this out of the way so that we can take a look without all of this mess being in front of our face. I'm just piling it to the side. All righty, so we didn't use these. I need to put them up, but I'll do that after the video is done. All right, so we have made one of these using an eight by eight and a six by six. So cute, I do love them. I, I really think I like this size better. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Y'all like the eight by eight or the six by six? I'm kind of tossed. Maybe it's because this one has a flower. If this one had the flower, I might like it better because y'all know how I am by roses. But I like how I stuck all of the little tickets in there, too. I don't know. All right, guys. Let me know which one your favorite is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.